Hello students, so the time has come when your hard work and effort of last one year is going to be tested and in this the contribution of your uh, teachers and parents can also be can't be neglected actually. So uh, in this last few hours that is left, don't get nervous, don't get tensed, have full confidence in your hard work and the dedication that you have put for the last one year. and. Uh, during this last few hours whatever is left so my advice is don't study any new topic which you haven't studied okay go through all the list of derivations from your class notes okay from your teacher what the teachers you have uh, the notes they have given you goes through go through all the derivations go through all the formula and uh, the terms used in each formula you should know and you should be able to identify those terms then the physical quantities you should be able to uh, know the unit SI unit of all the physical quantities dimensional formula of physical quantities there may be one mark question based on the, that then go through all the devices okay uh, like in uh, the chapter semiconductors uh, rectifier full wave rectifier half wave rectifier then you have the amplifier switch oscillator so definitely there will be a question based on that similarly you have the cyclotron in magnetism and uh, moving coil galvanometer conversion of moving coil galvanometer to a meter conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter so those, those things brush up those things and uh, in ncrt uh, textbook uh, at the end of each chapter there is uh, there is a summary so if there is not, not much time left for looking through all the entire chapter, just read through those summary points. Then after summary, there is something called points to ponder. So go, go through all those points, okay. Go through all the graphs. You must be able to draw the graphs clearly, like the hysteresis curve, then characteristic curve for diode, characteristic curve for transistor, resistivity versus temperature, graph for conductors, for alloy for semiconductors go through those basic graphs okay then uh, regarding the time management see after getting the question paper read through all the questions okay and uh, analyze okay, okay what are questions because there will be oh, there will not be any overall, overall overall choices but there will be some internal choices so select those questions which you are going to attempt okay and preferably uh, write the paper in serial I mean start from 1, 2, 3, 4 and then uh, till the last question okay uh, don't uh, it, this is my personal advice don't start from the back some students they have the habit of starting from they have a uh, habit of uh, attempting those questions having more marks 6 marks questions uh, 4 marks questions instead of that start from 1 okay do the questions serially so that it will be easier for the checker, the teacher who is going to check the paper. Uh, it will be easier for him or her also. And uh, after each answer, leave some space, then write the next question and then continue. Okay. Now, if in some particular question, if while attempting the question serially, suppose if you are attempting question, you have attempted question number four, question number five, question number six. In question number seven, you have some doubt. And uh, then don't leave the space for question number seven. Then go to question number eight. Do this question uh, separately at the end, but write the question number very clearly. Okay. Then uh, you must be able to see uh, while analyzing the paper, time management with regard to the question paper. Uh, make sure that you are not going to write the paper till the last minute. Okay. So you should be able to finish off this paper by say 2 or 30 minutes or maximum 2 or 45 minutes so that you should have at least 15 minutes time 15 minutes to 20 minutes time to go through the entire paper after writing all the answers so that if there is any shortcoming you should be able to uh, you should not miss out those things okay and uh, uh, write legibly see handwriting some are having good handwriting so uh, see uh, this good handwriting is a relative term but uh, write legibly so that things are clear 
okay and don't means uh, don't change the handwriting i'm not saying see you have your own style uh, you can't change the handwriting at last exam hour but write the things legibly so that things are clear and this writing legibly starts from the front page see when you are writing a roll number and other details so those numbers also you should write it clearly so that there is no confusion there should not be any confusion while seeing the number whether it is 4 or 9 so those things should be very much clear and uh, i pray that you do well your in your board examination and uh, uh, i do hope that you get very good marks and uh, after the board examination then you have to uh, aim for your this uh, entrance examination je examination and neat examination for that also we'll be starting uh, our preparation together i'll be uploading videos for that also so best of luck